But I have to say, um, congratulations to you, Tim, on doing a splendid piece of ritual this evening. And thank you very much indeed for the way in which you're supporting the 2013 festival, and you, brethren, the way in which you've just raised £110 worth of sponsorship for his cycle ride. So well done, brethren, for that. I think it's absolutely marvellous. Now, brethren, I know that your lodge has had problems, and I know that you are going a long way round uh, to sort out some of those uh, small hiccups that you've had. And I'm grateful to Chris Bowles for stepping in and the result of a phone call for helping you uh, put your lodge onto a firm foundation. And with what I've heard this evening, I don't think there's going to be any problem at all that this lodge is going to grow and grow and grow. But that worshipful master is primarily down to you to get those chaps around the table having that drink to identify suitable targets, uh, members, I think. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> now, brother, I want to congratulate uh, worshipful brother Bowles on being reappointed as my provincial deputy grand director of ceremonies and worshipful brother Ralph Masterson, as, uh, to, who is going to be appointed my provincial assistant grand director of ceremonies. And to both those brethren, I thank them for accepting office and I hope that you're going to enjoy the year coming around the province. Now this province, as you know, covers three counties, Norfolk, Suffolk and Cambridgeshire. And because it's such a vast, large province, one of the ways we can communicate with you all is through the website. That website has got almost everything you need to know about what's happening within your province. Who we are, how to contact us, who's going where, <laughs> who's doing what, what event and occasion you can go to and participate in. On the bottom of the website, on the front, on the home page as it's called, you will see that we've been successful in receiving a grant from the Mark Benevolent Fund Worthy Causes. We have attracted £35,000 <coughs> worth of funding for the Treehouse Appeal at the East Anglian Children's Hospice. Now that £35,000 is not going into bricks and mortar. It is not part of the Provincial <coughs> Grand Master's Appeal organised by the Provincial Grand Master of Suffolk. It is in tandem with that appeal. And the £35,000 is enough money to purchase and install all the necessary equipment and paraphernalia so that the, the hospice has a sensory room that is 21st century state-of-the-art technology. And that's what you're raising money for in 2013. That really is a tremendous asset for those young people. There will be no other hospice in the country with those facilities provided for by Mark Mason. So I thank you so much for all that you are doing to keep the 2013 festival forever in your mind. Now you will have heard me say upstairs how delighted I was with the support that we are receiving from the craft in both Norfolk and Suffolk and Cambridge. And we are, brethren, never lose sight of that. We are craft masons first, second and third. It's our job to support the craft. Without them, we don't exist. Mind you, without us, they would be the poorer, but they just don't know that yet. <laughs> so, brethren, that's what's happening. £35,000 from the Mark Benevolent Fund. What else is happening? Well, there's a golf day for those of you that play golf, and it's on the 21st of July, and it's at Thetford Golf Course. The details are on their website. The annual meeting of your province will be held on the 23rd of July at the Mildenhall School of Technology, our usual venue. I do hope that you will be able to attend and support those two brethren from your lodge who are going to be promoted. There's a weekend, a Mark Mason's weekend, in Dorset, in Sandbanks in Dorset, on the weekend of the 14th and 15th of October. Details again, if you'd like to go, they're on the website. Now, the festival venue has changed, perhaps, since you, you last uh, last heard. We were going to go to the Norfolk Showground. We are not. We're going to go to St Andrews Hall and we've hired the entire complex for the day on the 23rd of September in 2013. It, the deal will be the dinner will take place in St Andrews Hall and the reception before will take place in the other Black large hall. Blackfriars Black 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 Hall. Thank you for that. I knew somebody would know if I stumbled. Mm. So that's what's happening. The tickets will be less than £50 a head. That's my aim. But there is a downside to all of this, brethren. We can only accommodate 640 people. Now you think, gosh, that's an awful lot of people. Well, it isn't really, because it's 320 Masons, Mark Masons and their ladies. And you think, well, yes, that's still a lot, Paul. 320, that's an awful lot. 
Well, actually, no, it isn't, brethren. If I tell you that at Northamptonshire and Huntingdonshire, which was the last festival, 798 people attended, you will see that uh, we have a limited capacity. Now, because of that, you have first refusal. It's your festival, it's your province, and you are raising the money. Therefore, you get first refusal on tickets. But I warn you now, brethren, when the information comes out, when it's made public how you get the tickets, please do it very quickly. One or two other small changes I'm going to make, brethren. From May of next year, all summonses to the provincial meetings will be sent out by post direct to the brethren concerned. There will be two annual meetings next year. The one in May will be for Royal Art Mariners. The idea of that is to promote and raise the profile of the Royal Art Mariners degree. Is that that meeting I will in, uh, invest the recipients of the Provincial Royal Art Mariner Grand Rank. At Provincial Grand Lodge, we will have a delegation of Royal Art Mariners. So again, raising the profile of the Royal Art Mariners. Both of those meetings, you will have summonses that have been sent to you in the post. The reason, brethren, for that is I am finding increasingly that you're not getting the information in due time. So we felt that I felt it was much better that you got sent an individual invitation to attend. So that's a slight change for you, brethren. There are not many other major changes. All I can urge you to do is to visit other Mark Lodges as and when time and circumstances allow. If you've enjoyed being a Mark Mason and you are enjoying being a Mark Mason, then all you have to do is tell someone else. Your enthusiasm for this degree will encourage all the members you're ever going to need. Brethren, you've been very kind, and you've listened to me for quite long enough, because the Master promised me I could leave at half past nine, but he didn't know I was going to speak for quite so long, so I apologise to him for that. <coughs> Brethren, can I thank you for the way you've received me and my Director of Ceremonies this evening. I hope that uh, your lodge will continue to grow and to prosper, but you have the basis here of a tremendous fraternal companionship, and I congratulate you all upon it. Thank you very much. Well done.